Hi, thanks for viewing. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today is Tarot Day. So today's reading is from the 5th of December 2021 until the 11th. So it goes from Sunday through to the next Saturday. Okay, so as usual, I now have am going to start using three decks of cards so I can interreact all three cards together so we get a collective definition of what's going to happen for the next week. Now, my readings are specifically for the whole planet. So I hope that like last week, I got out the strength card. How many people contacted me through the week? Just since Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days, I've had 17 phone calls, 17 phone calls from people just saying, how did you get that card? Because it was the one I needed for this week. Boom! It, it's not me, guys. It's the energy that is through me. I am only the telecommunications device. I receive messages from my girl who's with me constantly and she gives me information. So common thing that I say now when I do my readings or helping other people, I actually say to them, today you have two psychics for the price of one. You get me, the Linda, but you also get her. She's on. She's already letting me know she's here. So today's reading is it's going to be from the 5th of December through to the 11th, and it's for the whole world. So, first of all, which card do you want me to take the little ones today? All right, so when she just said the little ones, because that's what I just heard, I hear it because she's about three foot over here. So that's why I look over here because she stands there. And she said, go with the little ones first. So the little ones is my t -t -t pack of the little doves with wings aren't they gorgeous little cards so let's go and get one of these first now before I do any readings with tarot cards I always spend time clearing myself out first that takes about 15 minutes I sometimes use my singing bowl I sometimes use sage I sometimes use my tinchy bells or whatever she feels I should be using because I just get this incline it's like an intuition. Use those, okay? So I've been through that process this morning. Now I've already cleansed my cards this morning. So let's go and get the first card, okay? All right, so I always knock three times on my card. One, two, three. And I always put out the intention of what I want. So today I want a card that represents the whole planet for the next week. Something that we can use something that we may be already using, something to give us some hint. Oh, there it goes. I think that's the one. That's the one. And I'll put him over here. So you can see I'm not doing sleight of hand, so I'll put those ones away. Now she's saying go with the blue ones. Now, both of my decks have got blue on them. It's, at, it's Louise's card. So <clears throat> I like promoting people who do wonderful work. Louise Benton, here's her card if you wish to go and check out her website. Louise Benton's cards. So, she designed these cards. As I've said before, every card has its own artwork, which she creates. Every, re every card has its own message that she creates. So, it's nothing genetic. She's not using anyone else's ideas here. So, now I put the intention into these cards. One, two, three. And I'm looking for a card that would represent the whole planet for the next seven days. So now we start to shuffle. And she, the girl with me, or the universe, because it's not me, because I do not put my energy into these cards. That's why I shuffle them until one falls out, because that's the card that the universe wants me to have, yeah? Because, you know, we've got to take our ego out of the equation. It's so hard to do. Um, you know, many times people ask me, so hang on, first of all, I'll just tell you, while I'm talking, I'm still putting that intention out of a card for next, this whole next week, okay? So ego, <clears throat> a lot of people can't, don't recognize what their ego is. Our ego is our mind. It's our conscious thoughts. 
It's all our decisions. It's how we act. So it's also our characteristics and our personalities. So we've got to get rid of all that when we do any sort of spiritual work. So there are techniques out there. I hope that um, if you go to my Facebook group, Dr. Linda Kramer Paranormal, um, join there. Um, I only have questions there so to avoid spammers, okay, um, like many groups do. So I've got development classes in there on how to ground, how to do your own protection, how to do your own auto cleanse. They're all free to watch all the videos under the topics. Okay, one card regarding what the world needs to hear for the next week. One card. I nearly had one then. I, I can sort of feel the energy around all the cards. And as one's about to pop out, it's like a boom. Like a, um, <clears throat> how, how would Luke Skywalker say it? I feel a, um, something in the force, okay? I like referring back to movies. Star Wars, may the force be with you. What's he talking about there? He's talking about the energy. Because everything that we do is energy. Okay? All right. One card, please. One card is all I ask. Oh, it's about to happen, I think. Because I'm feeling that change in the energy fields. There's a disruption in the force. That's what he said. She just told me that. I, oh! Now i got two. I don't generally like getting two cards, so I'm going to put them back on. I only want one. Thank you very much. Show me just one card. Please, just one card. Disruption in the force. Okay, so there is a card. I can feel it. Now, what do I mean when I say I can feel an energy shift? Because I'm my hands holding the cards, I can actually feel the energy coming out of these cards. It's like a radiation. It radiates. Not like radiation, like a nuclear. It's, it's like a radi, radiation, radiating the energy coming out of them. Wow, hello, cards. There it goes. Did you see that? All right, so I'm going to put these here, and I'll pick up the one. Yes, it's one. <clears throat> and I've got the... Oh, okay. Put that over there. Now, isn't it funny before I said pick... She said pick the blue card. This card's blue. Out of all the other colours, this one's blue, okay? So I'll put that there. Now I've got my deck of cards. Ooh, I've already been playing around with these guys this morning, doing my own reading. So these are already um, tuned in to me. Mwah, I love kissing them because kissing means you love something, right? Mwah, can I always give kisses to my cards. Okay, so <clears throat> back to my intention for the week i want a card that represents the whole planet for the coming week just one card whoops i'm going to hold them differently now louise's cards are quite big so i hold them the other way okay so one card one card that represents what the whole world needs to hear for the next week oh nilly 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 had one all right one card for the whole week okay so she's telling me keep going on with ego Okay, ego. We all have one. Okay, we all have an ego. Um, now, did you see that one just flick out? So here's the cards. Put them down. <clears throat> now I've got my card. Okay. Ah, oh, and it's also a blue card as well. It's funny how she said blue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love how she works. Okay, so let's bring over our three cards that I've got here now. Okay. So, now that I've got my three cards, I always say to her, which one do you want me to go with first? And she's still saying the blue one. Go with the blue one. So I'm going to go with Louise's because this one is the blue card. It's actually the peace card. So I'm going to put this up here so you can have a read of it. Pause the screen if you want so you can really work out what this card means. What does this card represent in your life? Is it something that you're already obtaining or is it something that you wish to strive for in your future? So let's have a read <clears throat> from, the, from Louise's deck. Peace. Surrender to your spirit's nurturing presence. Feel your tender, peaceful essence. Let silence enfold you and rest a while. 
from the chaos of this world, the struggle and toil. Drift into the mystic realms, your limitless self expanding out. Allow the thoughts and fears to subside as distortions of the world are put aside. All you will ever need resides inside. Yield and soften. Let your heart be your guide. The eternal present moment, soul's resting place, fall, fall into its blissful embrace. And then down the bottom it says, I am peace in this moment. Wow. <clears throat> Have I already receiving boom, 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 boom messages already from her? Okay. Now she wants me to do the little card. Love would ask for the directions. Love would ask for the directions. Ooh, 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 I'm getting goosebumps. Because now I have the Nine of Pentacle cards. Nine of Pentacles. Now, when I look at that picture straight away, I see a lady in blue. Now, isn't it funny how she said, pick the blue one? So there you go. There's a confirmation already today, isn't it? Because she said that even before I drew the cards. And they're all blue. <clears throat> they're all blue. Well, this one's blue because it's generic anyway. But isn't it funny how I got the blue cards? Nine of Pentacles. Now, yes, if you do go to a tarot reader, they still go back to their book. Because we always need direction, okay? So let me just go down to my pentacles. Okay, now she's the Nine of Pentacles. So let's have a read of... Whoops, I'm into swords now. Whoops. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, I went past it. I did too. Here we go. Nine of Pentacle cards. The Nine of Pentacles indicates financial success and material security, usually obtained through one's own efforts. Although the woman in this card is de depicted alone, the card symbolizes financial independence and not loneliness. Finances should improve sufficiently to allow some comforts in life and a pleasant and comfortable lifestyle. With other indications, this could represent an inheritance. If you've been, be, um, if you've been beavering away, working hard and carefully moving in the direction of your goals, then this card now brings the rewards of your efforts. Congratulations. So I'll put this up because, hello, I don't hide anything. So if you want to pause the screen and have a read of my book. Alrighty. <clears throat> wow. So I'm just going to leave that open. Silly me, I just closed it. Okay, so there she is. Alright, so let's go through these cards and let's analyse and work out what the connection is between all three of them, okay? Because that's what you do when you're using more than one or two decks. I'll just find something to put there onto my book so it doesn't close. Okay, so the first card I want to go back to is Louise's. Let's psychoanalyse the words. Peace. Remember I've had 17 phone calls this week. I would say 14 out of the 17 phone calls I've had in the last three days have all been regarding how nasty, how accusing, how abusive people are starting to get all over the world. Because what's happening, guys, is that these people are not, they're looking outwards for their answers when we should be looking within. People are trusting and relying on their governments, their authorities, their policing, their teachers, their boss to tell them what to do instead of looking within and finding that peace that comes when we know in our true self who we are and what it is that we're passionate about doing and what we will do 
to make our lives better in the future. Something, the first word, surrender. So how do we surrender? Now it is funny <clears throat> because I was just talking to a lady just yesterday and I said, darling, I must do a video regarding our conversation. I was telling her how to let go of things that are happening in her life. So I don't, I don't mind showing. Here's my notes when I was on the phone to this lady yesterday. The first one. This is what I wrote yesterday when I was talking to a lady. The first thing I said was be grateful for everything that happens in our lives. Even the bad stuff that happens. We always be thankful. Be thankful for all that bad stuff. Because when we turn a negative into a positive, karma reaches out and rewards us. If we're negative and we're spewing our negativity to others, karma will act in ways that then we start blaming and accusing even more because we're in that negative mindset. So this is what I wrote down yet just yesterday when I was talking to a lady. And how important is it now with the word surrender? So let's go through this, guys, because this is a big learning curve that everybody on the planet needs to hear today. The first thing we do is to say thank you. So let's pick something that I'm not happy with today. What does not make Linda happy today? Well, I try and be happy with everything. Okay. Let's go there. The mandates. Okay. Something that we can all use on the planet. But it may be your relationship. It may be the um, person that um, is your boss. It may be your business dealings. It may be how you're interacting with your schools, your children, your neighbours, even where you go and buy your groceries. So there's always something that is going to make us irky where we don't agree with what it is. So we thank them because what we're doing is we are accepting them and we are identifying what we don't want within us, within so these external forces, whether it's your boss or whether it's the police or if it's a politician or even your grocery store, or your school or your neighbours or your family or whoever, you allow them to be who they are for they are not you. And the only way we identify that is to sit there and analyse ourselves from within and we say to ourselves, is this truly who Linda wishes to be. So we thank them. Thank you so much for being who you are and giving me the opportunity to acknowledge that you're doing something that I don't agree with. So we accept what they're doing. You allow them without judgment or accusations we don't have to go to their website. We don't have to go to their Facebook page. You know, how many people now are taking it out on the premiers of Australia? We don't have to do that to say, you know what? I don't agree with what you're doing. So we allow them to do what they're doing. Because at the end of the day, you've got to remember, all these people have got their hands tied by someone who's very quiet at this point. So why are we taking it out on these puppets when really our issue is with somebody else? When you see that driver driving down the street and you think, oh my God, look what he's doing. Don't take it out on him because you're really angry with something else that's going on. Okay, so allow that person to do what he's wanting. You don't know his situation. You don't know what he's doing in his life. We're having trouble walking our own walk at this point, right? <clears throat> so we allow them. So we accept what's happened in our past. And then we can release it. 
And we say to ourselves, what rule am I going to put in place right now for Linda where I can surrender that mandate, that rule, that opinion or judgment? And as soon as we identify Linda does not want that in her energy field, then that's when we say, bye-bye, and I release you back to the universe. So we we release it. So it's no longer in our energy field. And then the last rule that I wrote down to this lady, and I'll just hide her details, is we... What's this word here that I've got? Change. So we sit there and we think, okay, now I've identified that these people are doing things I don't like and I've recognised their behaviour and I've now released it. Now it's up to us to change who we are so we don't become a reflection of what they are. We don't start doing their behaviours. Because at the end of the day, guys, when we start mimicking or acting like others that's what we call being asleep that's what we that's what spiritual people call sheep because they follow other people's rules because they can't make their own rules within themselves to find that peace surrender to your spirit's nurturing presence our higher self always wants us to be the best correct so when we surrender all these negativities that other people organizations companies governments whoever are doing we can then say right you're doing your life i'm going to do mine and we set those rules feel your tender peaceful essence So that's when we go within ourselves and we sit there and we say, right, Linda, I'm using myself as an example today. Linda, what makes you happy? What makes Linda peace? Is it retaliating? Is it putting out negative feelings to others, writing comments or making comments under news feeds going to their facebook pages or on youtube when you see news reports making negative comments or doing your own video and spewing their thoughts because all you're doing is reflecting what they're doing and you're creating that within you so we let it go and we only feel the presence of ourselves Because when we generate that essence of, say right now, Linda, what we're doing, that emits out and it attracts to others on that same frequency. Okay? Let silence enfold you and rest a while. So this means you don't have to personally attack somebody else. If you see that driver driving erratically or somebody doing something against the mandates, you don't have to take out your anger on that specific person. I said it in my video the other day, how not to react. I said the line was, sometimes the best reaction is silence. We don't have to get involved in what other people are doing. We don't have to generate our energetic being to be what somebody else is doing. From the chaos of this world, the struggle and toil. Oh my gosh, now my eyes are watering. Thank you so much. See, I'm not upset that my eyes are watering. See, my reaction then it was to say thank you. Thank you, my eyes are watering, okay? It's 8.30 on Sunday morning for me while I'm doing this. So from the chaos of this world, look how true that is right now. The struggle and toil. Are they our own personal struggles and toils? Or are we only upset because we are reacting to what other people have done? Drift 
Now, what does the word drift mean? It means calmly entering, drifting down the waters, okay? Drift into the mystic realms, your limitless self-expanding out. Because once we look inside ourselves and we work out who we truly are, and we get and if we say to ourselves, you know what, I really do want to be a good person. I really don't want to be this person who's accusing. I don't want to be this person who's trolling. I don't want to be this person who's taking my anger out on all these other people who don't really deserve it. So as soon as we identify and we look inside ourselves and we say, okay, I do want to be a better person. We find those limitless self-expanding out. So when we create that within us, we're actually generating this outward So it does reach out to your neighbours. It reaches out to other drivers in their cars driving past you on the road. And it does connect to your car. So your car will start running better. This is true science that proves this spiritual concept. Okay? When we're emitting out of us this peaceful, loving energy, it attracts more in because we are attaching to other people and spreading that to others all you will ever need resides inside everything Linda needs is right here within me that's what this card is saying I am my love I don't need to go and find a boyfriend to love me because I generate enough love for myself I don't need to feel respected and I don't need to feel worthy by others' opinions of me because I have found that within me and what I generate in myself is sufficient. I'm just pausing for that effect here, guys, because that wasn't me that just said that. That just came straight out of her and I was just repeating her words. So I'm going to have to watch this again later and see what she just said because I don't even remember it. Okay. Yield and soften. Let go of your angers, guys. Let go of your grudges. Let go of hurts, pains, traumas. Release them, like I said earlier. Acknowledge that you've had it and be grateful. For we all have that roller coaster of life. We all go up and we go down into these valleys and canyons of despair. But it's only when we're in a bad situation that we realise how good, how loving, how kind, generous and understanding and compassionate we really are. Let your heart be your guide. Follow your heart. How many people have said that over the years? Follow your heart. Let your heart let you know what is right or wrong. You'll get those gut feelings. Trust it and recognize when your emotions do change. Say, what mood am I in today? Am I angry? No. Am I sad? Maybe. Am I happy? So you identify the the emotional state that you're in. And then you ask yourself, why am I feeling that emotion? What's caused it? And then you can release it out. And if it was a good emotion like happiness, be still thankful. I'm so happy and thankful today that I'm happy. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to have this within me. Thank you so much. I've identified this as something I want more often. So bring it on. Bring me more of these happy thoughts because it's only us and our ego that generates our emotion. And emotions is whether we're happy or sad, grieving or exhilarated. So we yield, we surrender all the stuff that's going on on the planet. The eternal present moment. Now, You've got to know here, I died in 2001. I went to heaven for about five years. There is no time. Everything is now in the present. 
What we create today, right now, is what our tomorrow on this three-dimensional world will be like. If we're creating grudges and angers and hate towards others, tomorrow we were going to feel that same way. So our behaviours won't change. But if we identify that we're doing that sort of stuff and we say, right now, right now, today, I'm going to change. Remember the word change. Change. I want to change right now and make tomorrow a better, happy place. Because it's scientifically proven that when we're happy on our inside, we don't get sick. Why do you think so many people now are having so many illnesses coming onto them? Because they're hanging on to all this negative energy, fears, being scared, fearful. They're abusing others. They're attacking. They're judging and accusing. And all that festers in this negative emotional state and it creates illnesses. You know, I like going back to the Bible. Jesus. Okay, we've all heard the name Jesus. Let's go there also with Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad. Let's look also at Buddha. Buddha. Those three men. Now, did they have high health care requirements? Did they ever have hospital visitations where people were looking after their health? Did they ever have really good jobs that um, afforded them the money to spend on really good clothing, shoes, health care? No. But how many people did they see per day? thousands they were around Jesus Muhammad and Buddha they were around the lepers they were around people with smallpox measles chickenpox and all these other communal diseases that are contagious but when did they get sick Jesus Muhammad and Buddha when did they ever get sick because they're in such a good happy loving peace that their energy would not allow those negative energies to enter it's true isn't it you can't deny it because it's true fall into this blissful embrace so you allow and you just allow yourself to be immersed in this peace and loving environment don't get involved in all the drama don't get involved in all what he or she is saying on the news because the more we think about them the more we're recreating it within ourselves so I am peace in this moment So for the next week, guys, this is the universe screaming out at us to let us know we are peace. We can acquire all the goodness coming to us. Remember, I'm yet to talk about this goal. Because love would ask for the directions. When we trust our gut when we trust our instincts or our intuition and we go with what we feel is right for us because we've identified who we are and we know ourselves and we've got that strength that I spoke about last week love which is that great emotion state asks for the directions so you find that peace within yourself and you say Like I talk to her and I say, I need some directions. What do you think I should do? So if you're praying, when you pray to your gods, you ask them for that guidance. You ask them for that direction. Because when we're connected to them, like me with her, they tell us what is best for us, within us. And then we just have to trust it and go with it. So the nine of pentacles indicates financial success and material security, usually attained through one's own efforts. 
So when we acquire this peace within, when we create this happiness and this love within us and we listen to our guides and we listen to our own intuition, good things are coming for us. Finances should improve sufficiently to allow some comforts in life. Now just remember, money means nothing in spirituality. Jesus, Buddha and Muhammad, were they wealthy men? No, they had nothing virtually to their names because they knew money meant zip to who they were on the inside. Yes, we need sustenance for our body. We need food, water. We need shelter so we don't get inflicted by weather conditions, etc. So when we trust and we reach out to our inner self and we accept what's happening to ourselves and we release all that negativity and we become this loving person, the universe does provide. It really does provide look at me this week I've had 17 phone calls in the last three days people are reaching out because they want to be these cards if you've been beavering away now you know what a beaver is he makes dams and he's always working Working hard and carefully moving in the direction of your goals. How do we know what our goals are unless we look inside ourselves and we find that peace to trust our intuition? Carefully moving in the direction of your goals, then this card now brings the rewards for your efforts. So this is a tarot reading for today, guys. So next week, if we have been working hard and we are truly staying in ourselves and being present in ourselves and creating what is best for us, then we will receive these rewards in the next week. Wow. So I'm going to put the cards up again. I have the Nine of Pentacles. Go, do a Google and find out what this card means for yourself specifically. Is it something that you're already doing? Is it something that you need more of in your own life? Is it something that you can shower on other people because when we're generating that energy from one to another that's when this greatness spreads love would ask for the directions trust your instincts trust your gut trust your intuition talk to your gods talk to your guides talk to your angels ask them what should linda do put your name in there i just use me because i'm the one talking Then at the end of the day, find that peace within ourselves for the rewards are coming, guys. The rewards are coming. I'll put it on the screen so you can read it again. The rewards are coming for those who are doing the right thing. I don't know about you, but I've got goosebumps all up and down my legs. This gives me hope that... The universal energies are realigning. This gives me hope that the narrative being said on the news by people in authority, it's about to fall apart. Stay true to yourself, guys. Wait and be patient. For this week, greatness is coming to those willing to do the work hope you've liked today's cards watch it again next week let's see how it goes bye